Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are beating the game on the highest difficulty with only two and two soldiers only. It's month number 11. I haven't played in um, real life, I think two weeks from now, so I don't remember all of the details, but I certainly know that this mission here is important. As always, if you fail on a VIP mission, you're losing the entire um, area. And this area here has a beautiful uh, resistance tower in it so that's a lot of um, supplies which we could lose plus it gives us the continent bonus for Africa. I skimmed uh, uh, briefly through our roster and found that only El Major Edgar Allan Poe and Major Dragonova would be ready for this mission and as great as this combination is for a non-timed mission it actually is a little bit problematic for VIP missions uh, mainly because you need some time for Dragonova to 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 wield her magic. The full explosions, as well as all of uh, her remote starts, might or might not be good. So I am very cognizant that we might end up just um, evacuating this mission. So if things turn sour, we are going to use our grappling hook and just grapple the hell out of here. Edgar Allan Poe at this point is major, the major rank very close to becoming a colonel. So if we play our cards right, we could give him Fanfire and Serial, two of the most game-breaking abilities for a sniper. It's just a massive damage upgrade for, from where he currently is. So we're in a critical point of, uh, uh, of the campaign where we're just at this edge of upgrading the weapons so we still have a pretty weak um, sniper rifle and we're just on the edge between major and colonel which gives you a lot of extra um, abilities that we also don't have so this mission will effectively be quite difficult so let's take a look here we have a couple of things to blow up that's good we do have an entrance here into a cell that's down there and we can just run off. And that's not bad, I like it. It's a good starting point. Let's uh, take a look where we stand. Okay, there's the first alien patrol. We really don't want to mess with them. I'm wondering if we can instead take this really long road here and bypass all of them. That would be awesome. Okay, we know there is a sector pot. The hut just like shook and it only shakes if there is a sector pot. Just the, uh, it shakes whenever the sector pot is moving. So we know there is a pack back here with a mech. There's an Andromedon pack right there, okay. I'm trusting you. And I think we should be out of line of sight if we're moving like to here. We're in grappling distance. And maybe we can actually sneak our way in. That would be awesome. Okay, good enough. Let's think this through real quick. Just double checking that there is nothing on the rooftop here. Well, there is something on the rooftop. Good that we have checked. If we're moving up to here. We're still having the grappling hook, right? Right. Okay. So this should be good. With the grappling hook, we could just get up here. Now I also want to double check who's protecting the VIP. Mm -hmm. 
So far we're we're good. No one is protecting the VIP. Okay, well that's not too bad, I suppose. I go where you tell me. Okay. So let's set that up, shall we? We can Oh, that's going to be beautiful. We can open the door next turn. Just move up here and get the hell out of uh, out of this mission. We can grapple up here and also run run off with that galleon pole. Okay, let's think this through real quick. I think we're going to wait one more turn so we have both of our actions. We do have advanced teamwork. So we could probably pull it off even right now. Hmm. We know we haven't triggered anyone, so might as well actually try to pull it off now. You're the boss. That way no one's running uh, that way no one's running into our um, into our area, at least not this turn. And if they would do that next turn, uh, we could just move away. I am going to greet enemy protocol here. Chance of having a permanent plus 20 is just too... too damn tasty. Alright. Move into here. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's one move just to get out of here. Easy. All right. If nothing else goes wrong, we're going to leave that mission right away. Next turn. They're coming round the flank. Well, there we go. Hello. Not 100% sure how he managed to move, like, quite literally through the wall. But I guess it is what it is. There are the reinforcements, and now shit has hit the fan. It's time for us to really get the uh, hell out of here. I miscalculated, and uh, this is still going to suck. Oh, holy crap. All right, we pissed them off. I can clearly see it. They even blocked the entrance here just for good measure. Like that's that's a drastic move. Uh, they seldomly go as far as to do that. I'm not worried about Dragonova. She. Says I am to obey. Can just stay in the shadows here. By the way, in case you are wondering, of course, uh, this is not a mission where we want to take a fight. Like, 
a little extra shot for good measure. How could I put... well, we just hunker down, I suppose. Dragonova moves here, so she is safe. And worst thing that could happen is we're going to lose the VIP, which would suck in itself, but I don't want to risk our operatives here. So at Galleon Poe takes a run for the hills. And good old Lucas here. It's either hunker down and minimize damage that we take. The only one who could actually hit us is uh, the mech anyways. If the mech uses rockets though, the war blows open and we're in a completely different um, situation. Might as well move to here in order to avoid other units from, from uh, benefiting from that. And we can still like run off from here. Reinforcements. Let's hope it's not another mech, because mechs usually go on to Overwatch. It is, of course, another mech. That stinks. So the VIP will need to do the run for his life. Every single enemy has tactical analysis, which means they can only take one action that is based on a uh, based on a continent bonus uh, that we're currently having, which probably saved our life here because uh, they can just single move and that's about it. Even the mech here can only single move. Not the worst thing that could happen to us. Alright, no one is overwatching, which means... Just going to run. As for Dragonova, she can run as well. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Um, give it a second uh, chance or let her silently sneak out. This is just going to be flat out running for the hills. Not the most beautiful mission, but it was effective. <laughs> All right, we flawless that one and we killed exactly zero enemies. Yay! Sometimes you gotta use the sneaky techniques. All Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will be closed tomorrow for equipment upgrades. Initial reports that the suspension of service... Not much experience uh, that uh, Dragonova and Edgar Alien Poe will be getting out of this mission, but... Um, we got other rewards, which are fine. Thank you. Got Lucas, P, uh, Lucas Peters out of it. Nice little 100 intel, another engineer, exactly what we needed. Perfect. I think we're just going to employ him down here. Yeah, that looks about right. Still need Alarium and Alien Alloys, mostly Alarium. If we were to build items, like weapons, we could use the Fusion Blade, that's a brilliant upgrade. Uh, ah, okay. 
we don't have yet research to the tech lands. Okay, let's wait three more days. I remember we were just in the process of doing so. Alien Lois, that's great, but I think we wanted to continue making contact over here, right? Right. Wanted the North American bonus. But before we do so, we also wanted Illarium Crystals. And we're almost at the 180 Intel, which is good enough to buy some Illarium. Oh wow, 50 Intel. Spirit Conditioning is also nice. I like it. But we probably need the crystals. And let's also see if we can get some more money. We don't need the officers. Well, got a lot of chrysalid corpses, but I think we don't want to sell them yet. No, I guess we're okay. Even the Bursa corpse would make sense, uh, but we want to research them. Well, anyways, we need supplies. 350 incoming in the next supply drop that's okay and oh look at that we still have the supply drop up here let's get the supply drop so we can actually afford the upgrades of the weapons nice look at that plasma lance exactly what we would need Got the nice little shadow lance and plasma lance, plus a crystal autopsy. Hellweave uh, wests aren't too bad. They are actually quite good because uh, immunities are helpful in that sort of run, um, giving uh, giving return damage to melee attackers and um, and. Oh no, wait a second, that's just the melee bonus. No, I was mistaken. I was thinking these were hazmat wests, which make you immune to poison um, and all of the physical status effects. These are also okay, but I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, wouldn't want to go as far as to, to go with them yet. So we still got a couple of nice little breakdown sector pot, for instance, for the highest um, the highest gremlin. Beam weapon, definitely super helpful for heavy weapons. I think we're going to go with that next. But we got an inspired um, data pad, so that will give us additional intel. So just what we need. And three days are almost nothing. Okay, let's take a look at our items and weapon upgrades. I just mentioned we, we can use the weapon upgrades. Here's the plasma lens. Gosh, so expensive. 375. Okay, so we could. Uh, we're, we're just getting some more um, supplies. So that's good. And where is the shadow lance? That's another 225. But uh, Dragonova with a shadow, a shadow lance is pretty damn good as well. We got enough alloys and enough um, alarium to go for both. So let's try to get the supplies. All right, so. We're going to go for more alarium crystals down here like I initially wanted to do. And before we do that, let's upgrade the Shadow Lance real quick. Hey, Commander. I meant uh, the Sniper Weapon, sorry. The Plasma Lance, there we go. Very important upgrade. Next up, we're saving our money for the Shadow Lance and then probably Fusion X.
Guardians continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. We Look at that. 84 Intel. Beautiful reward for the research. Breakthrough assault rifles. All assault rifles now deal plus one damage. We are definitely going to go for that breakthrough because it's it's a beautiful, beautiful breakthrough. Will help us um, with Roby and the Templar because Roby is supposed to be a damage dealer there. And if we have plus one damage on assault rifles, that's actually really, really good. My involvement in the chip development process was on the theoretical side. Can't help but feel some degree of responsibility for the final product as we see it in use today. When intently focused on a singular aspect of a project. What can I do for you, Commander? Okay, so far so good. Actually, a couple of really nice uh, things that happened. For instance, the breakthrough. The aliens work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Besides, let's take a short look here. Before we are continuing, maybe we're proactively starting with a mission. Um, Edgar Allan Poe and Outrider are ready. And we can go for, for one of their facilities. I think we can uh, do it now. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So... If we were to go for the facility, we would er eliminate the first one here. Powerful and dangerous alien is guarding it, which means the first alien ruler will be there. And we could get the spider suit, which is nice. Will give us an extra, um, an extra, um, uh, an extra crowd control with the frost breath. Yeah, let's let's go for that. I like it. Okay, I will set everything up so that we actually can go with Edgar Alien Poe and Dragonova. That'll take some time, uh, and we're going to do that in the next uh, uh, video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I truly enjoyed it, and if you liked it as well. Please hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Much appreciated. Uh, see you all in the next run, guys. Bye-bye.